In this session, I will cover two important leverage ratio. Debt to equity. And debt to asset. Leverage ratio are extremely important to analyze potential stock investment and reduce probability of permanent loss of capital. Let's start with first ratio. Debt to equity. It is very straightforward but the most important one. Debt to equity is calculated as total debt of the company divided by shareholders' equity. You will find company long-term debt and equity in the balance sheet. In short, it measures the amount of the total debt capital with respect to the total equity capital. A debt to equity ratio of 1 indicates an equal amount of debt and equity capital. More than 1 indicates company is highly leveraged and investors should be careful. A high debt-to-equity ratio can result in volatile earnings as a result of additional interest expense. If the company's interest expenses are too high, it may increase the company's chances of a default or bankruptcy. Lower than 1 indicates equity capital is relatively higher than debt. There is a very low risk of not meeting debt obligation. I generally prefer companies with no debt or debt-to-equity ratio of less than 0.5. Let's move on to the next ratio debt to asset. It is calculated as total company debt divided by total company assets. This ratio helps to understand how much of the total assets are financed through debt capital. I generally prefer companies with no debt or debt to asset ratio of less than 0.3. A debt to asset ratio of 0.3 indicates 30% of company assets are financed through debt. More than 0.3 indicates company is highly leveraged and investors should be careful. Lower than 0.3 indicates equity capital is relatively higher than debt and less than 30% of company assets are financed through debt. As a stock investor you should closely monitor these ratios to ensure your company is not highly leveraged. Higher the debt to asset or debt to equity ratio. Higher is the risk of investing and probability of permanent loss of capital in case of economic downturn. Thank you.